to make the perfect BLT? Well, my next guest has it down to a science, literally. Everyone, please welcome Science Sam. <laughs> hey. hey. Oh my gosh, okay. So yeah. I remember when you originally pitched this idea yeah. and I was so excited right. about it. Yeah, because we're always saying science is everywhere mm. and I think we're proving that today. I agree. Literally in a sandwich. That's the thing, <laughs> in cooking, I feel like a lot of people understand that baking yep. is a science, yep. but cooking is completely scientific as well. Everywhere, mm -hmm. it's everywhere. And okay. that's what we're gonna show today. I love that. So we're gonna break down every, well like a, a bit of science in every single bit of a BLT. What are we starting with? Absolutely, mm -hmm. we're gonna start with the mayo. Delicious, okay. favorite, favorite. Now, mayo is actually a really cool, creamy chemistry. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult to make because you're mixing things that don't like to mix. Mm -hmm. You're mixing oils and a lot of watery ingredients. Mm -hmm. Let's just go ahead and, and get that started. Okay. We're gonna put an egg, and we're gonna use a whole egg here. Sometimes they just say egg yolks. Love the whole egg. But I like to just use, why waste? Why know? waste it, exactly. And then we're gonna put a little bit of the mustard. Perfect, just about a teaspoon? Yep, okay. perfect. And the lemon. And so here we have a lot, all of this lemon in okay. there. We have a lot of watery ingredients. Yes. Okay, so water is kind of like a magnet. Okay. okay? It has some positive and, positive and negative charges mm -hmm. to it, mm -hmm. so it likes to mix with other charged things. Okay. The trouble is, maybe we'll give that a little bit of a mix. Okay. Trouble is, we're now gonna add oil on top. Oh, okay. okay. And oil is not charged, it's kind of like plastic. Okay. Okay, now imagine trying to stick a magnet to plastic. Not gonna work, right? Okay. So you're gonna dump that right in. I know now, you're like. This is chaos, because anytime <laughs> I've made mayo before, you gotta go slow, but you're saying just dump, dump it? Dump it all right in. This is oh. the fast, science-y way for people like me who are not chefs, Mary. Okay. This, this is how we gotta do it. This feels like so chaos and I love as it. As you can see, this is not mixing. Yes, not okay. at all. Mm. Because again, magnet, like the watery stuff, and yeah. the plastic, like the oil, not gonna mix. Okay. But we're gonna use a blender okay. to create a vortex. And oh. that's gonna slowly, slowly pull in the oil for us. Okay and break apart some emulsifiers. Mm. I'm gonna get you started on that. Okay, let's go. The key here is to make sure it's fully submerged before you start. And do we need to use a, a, a cylinder kind of thing yes. like we're doing here? It's like a perfect fit. Yeah, perfect. And now you're gonna start going, and it's, it's gonna take like 30 seconds or so. Go okay. for it. You're gonna slowly go up. It's gonna vortex in. Oh, you can see it already going. Slowly pulling in that, order, that oil. We have wow. emulsifiers. <laughs> wow! Right? You can see it happening like right instantly. Y'all, are you losing your mind like me? No, no slow mixing. You're good. And you can keep going and it'll be fully, fully this done. This is blowing my whole entire yeah. mind. Yeah, because I've tried to make mayo the real chef way. I can't do that. No, I, gotta I do can't it. even. Yeah, you gotta do it this way. So that's looking perfect. Okay. You can keep going as long as you'd like. Yeah, oh. it's nice and thick and creamy. <gasps> this. <laughs> right? Was that easy? That was so easy. <laughs> So, Look at this mayo! Yeah. And it's a nice small batch, so you could flavor it, you can make it just for like your lunch that day, right? Pretty Sam, awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Did we talk about this before? Yes. Did I yes. think it was gonna work? I had debts. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say, this is what we call a stable emulsion. Okay. Because we had stuff in the egg, uh, the egg yolks called lecithin. Uh -huh. It's an emulsifier. And also in the mustard called mucilage. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. like a hybrid. It's got a magnet -y side that the, the, that the water likes and mm -hmm. a plasticky side. And now what happened as you were blending is can you see that? It was the middle in okay. between the parts that didn't like to blend. So it almost is like we yeah. stick them together. Yep. And then you end up with something that will stick the actual, exactly. like. Exactly. <gasps> that the emulsifiers are the middle between the oily stuff and the watery stuff that otherwise don't mix. So what's yep. the next thing we wanted to talk about? We're gonna talk about lettuce. Okay. Now, the fun thing about lettuce here, it's giving you a bit of a crunch. Mm -hmm. That's some novelty, your brain likes it. It's yeah. a bit of a different uh, texture there. Mm -hmm. Plus a hint of sweetness, rounding out some flavors. Mm -hmm. That's why that works in a BLT. Perfect. Okay, underrated. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing, very important, the bee. The bee. The bacon. You gotta the bacon. So there's mm -hmm. lots of science in the bacon. Okay. Let's get it cooking. Right over. And talk through it. Perfect. So as you can see, you're cooking it up, looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. Those meaty parts, something really happen, uh, really cool is gonna happen. It's one of your favorite reactions, the Maillard reaction. The Maillard reaction, yes. So yes. Maillard is a close cousin of caramelization. Mm -hmm. There's more protein than sugar, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. we got the, the protein bits from the meaty parts, mm -hmm. and that's mixing in with the sugars from the fats. Mm -hmm. And when you start to see that browning, mm -hmm. that's the Maillard reaction. It's lots of small reactions happening between the proteins and sugars. 
a really high heat, like 150 degrees Celsius, uh -huh. low moisture, that's when you start to get the browning. Nice. Same as like in a pretzel, a good beer. Yeah. And then that smell, are we all smelling it? We are smelling it. Smelling good. This is good morning smells. That's the melting uh, aroma compounds in the fats. Mm -hmm. There are about 150 of them that scientists have found that give that characteristic bacon smell. Wow. So yeah. when we can kind of isolate those flavor compounds, mm -hmm. that works for kind of mimicking things, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. So for our veggie friends, mm -hmm. right, who want to have bacon, if we know what the bacon smell is, yeah. it's just different cool chemical compounds, that's how you get it. Oh my gosh, and we have one right here yes. with the veggie bacon on it. Absolutely. So we've got that veggie bacon. Now real quick, I know we yeah. wanted to really quickly touch on the of tomatoes course. and the bread. What are we of doing course. over here? So you're gonna slice those tomatoes. Okay. Now tomatoes are not just refreshingly juicy, mm -hmm. they also have naturally high levels of glutamic acid. Oh. That's a key part for that flavor MSG that is really delicious, everyone loves. You put some salt on that, mm -hmm. You not only is salt delicious, you enhance that umami flavor from the glutamic acid yeah. and make it taste even better. See, that's the thing. I know people are scared of it and yeah. that's okay, but MSG is found naturally in tomatoes Absolutely. and Parmesan cheese. Everywhere. And it makes them taste so delicious, sweet and savory at the Anything same time. Anything savory umami, which is right here in that tomato, yeah. It's that glutamic acid and we love it. Oh, I love <laughs> that. And then finally, real quick, what's on the bread? The and bread, I'm gonna dig in. Gluten proteins holding the bread together. It holds together our sandwich. <gasps> and, and then, then we've got our for us. beautiful sandwich. You wanna grab your half? Okay. And then you're gonna do a full Mary Berg right now. And okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of this extra mayo. Oh. Put that on there oh, because that's goodness. how I like to do things. All right. And cheers. I'm gonna dig in. Cheers. Cheers. To science. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the best science I've ever eaten. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.